This is question number three and it's a non-calculator question. We're told there are 200 pupils in year 11 at Smallville High School. One quarter of the pupils in year 11 have blonde hair. One eighth of the pupils in year 11 have black hair. In part A for three marks, the question says, how many pupils in year 11 at Smallville High School have neither blonde hair nor black hair? There are a few different approaches that we could take. I'm going to find the number who have blonde hair, the number who have black hair, and subtract those from the 200. So setting this up clearly, so the examiner can see what we're doing, we're going to start now with blonde hair. So those with blonde hair, this is one quarter of 200. All we're doing here is dividing 200 by 4, which is going to give me 50. Let's now look at those with black hair. We have one eighth of the 200. One eighth is half of one quarter, so one eighth of 200 will give me 25. I'm going to use the sign therefore. We certainly don't have to, but it does make your work look neater. We've got 200, which is the total number of pupils, minus those with blonde hair, minus those with black hair. So we've got 200 minus 75, and we have 125. One mark here, one mark here, and then our final mark here. In part B for two marks, the question says, what fraction of the total number of pupils in year 11 at Smallville High School has neither blonde hair nor black hair? We're asked to give our answer in its simplest form. Again, a couple of different approaches that you could take. I'm going to say now that 125 out of 200 in the school don't have blonde hair. I'm going to look to simplify this fraction and write it in its lowest terms or its simplest form. I can see that the numerator and the denominator divide by 25. If you don't automatically spot that, look to break it down, dividing by 5 as you go. If I divide the numerator by 25, that will give me 5. The denominator by 25, that will give me 8. So we can write now for one mark, 125 over 200, and for the second mark, in its simplest form, 5 over 8. An alternative would be to do 1 minus those with blonde hair minus those with black hair. We could write now these as equivalent fractions, 1 minus 2 over 8 minus 1 over 8, which would give us 1 minus 3 over 8, which is going to give us 5 over 8. Either way round, you will get the two marks if you take one of these approaches. There are, of course, alternatives, but these are two methods that you could use. Let's move on. We're told there are 250 pupils in year 10 at Smallville High School. 30% of the pupils in year 10 have blonde hair. In part C, for two marks, the question says, how many more pupils are there in year 10 with blonde hair than in year 11? So let's go ahead and set this up. So this is now part C. I'm going to first look at year 11. So we have now a total of those with blonde hair, so we can write this down. Total is equal to 50. Let's now look at year 10. We have 30% of the 250. I'm going to write 10% of 250 is equal to 25. Therefore, and again, we don't need to use the therefore sign if we don't want, 30% of 250 will be three times the amount. And that's going to be 75. So we can say now the total is equal to 75. All I'm going to write now is 75 minus 50 will be equal to 25. And that now tells us the number of a difference in the number of pupils in year 10 with blonde hair and year 11. So this is clear to see. I would get one mark now for this part and then one mark for this part. In part D it says explain why exactly 25% of pupils in year 10 can't have blonde hair. The question carries three marks. So let's go back and just write this out. We can say now for year 10, and just writing this here, year 10, we have now 10% is going to be equal to 25. 
If we think about now another 10%, this is going to be equal to 25. And then 5% is going to be equal to 12.5. That now gives us that 25% is going to be equal to 62.5. An alternative method was to simply divide the 250 by 4. 25% is 1 quarter. Alternatively, you can just set it out like this. What I'm going to say now, for people, so for people, the answer, the answer must be a whole number. The answer must be a whole number. Or, for example, let's write this down, whole number, you can't have 62 and a half people. Anything along these lines, you can't have 62.5 people. So all we're doing is justifying this. So what we do, we get one mark here, we get one mark here, and then one mark for a conclusion. So all we're doing is using a bit of logic, and we're showing now that 25% of 250 is 62.5, we can't have 62 and a half people, and we just write a concluding statement. An alternative here would be 250, so if we do that, 250 divided by 4 is going to be 62.5. That is an alternative. Remember, 25% is equal to 1 quarter, which is going to be equal to 0.25. So lots of different methods, we need to show our calculations and we need to now write a conclusion.